I was talking to a client that became my friend and he's young, he's very young, probably 21, 22, and he's in college. Um, and I remember like, a, let's say, up to two months ago, he was very built up, you know, he, he's, he was like, a, he's, a, he's a mixed race between a white and Asian. Um, he's probably he used to be probably around 20, 220 pounds 225 probably good looking guy so um, he just come to the store and I was like I'm talking to him and he said like oh my god I, I get my girlfriend pregnant and I was like what happened and he said like yes I I get my girlfriend pregnant and that's why he lost so much weight he probably lost like a 40 pounds you know like uh, he he looked skinny his face he he was really really like a uh, scared you know like uh, in that that pressure moment and I and I asked him uh, what happened and he said like uh, my girlfriend is pregnant and I asked him where she's from. She said like uh, she's from Venezuela. She's Latin and and he said like uh, she doesn't wanna abort she doesn't wanna stop the pregnancy, you know, like uh, and I was like of course man, like uh, why she will try to stop that thing? She's first is she's Latin. Latins we don't do that thing that much, you know, like I, that's not like in our culture. Um, and secondly, even when it's hard for me to say like a, you are handsome, because like a, to be, I don't know like a, what exactly woman's looking at guys. So for a guy, it's hard to say that another guy is handsome. Um, he has to be like a two, three points above the average, so we can see. And he said, we say like, a, yeah, he's a good looking. So even like a, for me, it's average. I can tell that he is a good looking guy. So he doesn't want to let that that, that happen. He he want to have her kid and get married. You know, like a, that's what Latins look for, and everybody. And he was scared, oh my god, I ruined my life, and like, and you know, make my career, I don't know what to do. And and I remember all his plans, and he was kind of playing with fire. Sometimes, like, I don't want to open my mouth and give some advice. I wish some people listen, but I say, okay, it's not, I don't, I don't say nothing when they don't ask. So I remember like uh, he was like, uh, he used to tell me, oh, I'm going to bars and I'm getting good at picking up girls, you know, like I uh, am. Uh, and I was like, uh, bro, don't do that. Why? Because like uh, in a bar, like a man, you don't have to be that smart. When you go to a bar, you go to pick up guys. And when women go to a bar, they go to pick up guys. You go to pick up girls, they go to pick up guys. So it's not that much like uh, effort that you have to put. They are going pretty much both sizes to to hand, no. And so don't don't call it like a like a you are getting good or you are good at that. So that's uh, everybody. I think it pass through that. And secondly, like a he, she doesn't want to let you go because you're handsome, you know, you're having good position. And after all that, he was still was stressed. And I say like, I, I, I make some joke, stupid joke, but it worked. And I say like, a, uh, well, call her in immigration, to immigration. And he laughed and we laughed. Uh -huh. 
and he's, she, he said like, no, I cannot do that. She born here. She's a U.S. citizen, and we laugh. And, and then like uh, I say, you know what? Look at this. Right now you cannot see it. For sure you cannot see it because you are in a very stressful moment and you are thinking like at the end of the world come. But I will tell you something. There is nobody know what will happen in the in the in the future. And secondly, it's like a, they did a research. I remember like a, they did a, 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 a research and the university did a research and they found out that there is a three ultimate goals that every human being have. Three. And those are the most important ultimate goals. Uh, one is love, self-accomplishment, and peace. So those are the ultimate goals. Some people buy, for example, like some people compete in some competition, like a boxing or whatever, because they want to feel self-accomplishment, you know? It's not about money, it's not about nothing. It's about that they want to feel that they make it, you know? They want to die knowing that they make it. Like, for example, I remember Mike Tyson. At that at one point, when he was the champ of the war, he said, like, uh, he paid a zookeeper $10,000 to say, like, I want to go in that cage and fight that thing and the a silverback gorilla he say like it's not about the money take the money i want to go there and prove myself i prove it already, uh, already to another guy so to uh, every guy in the world and i make it now i gonna prove it to that that's a self-accomplishment and some people they buy cars they buy toys they buy houses uh, you know planes everything because they want to feel love you know, they want to feel love from their family normally and they're from their relatives or from their employees, they want to feel that thing. And some people buy safe houses, you know, like a, a business, everything to feel peace, you know, peace, uh, like a, because finance, money make you, make you peace. You don't worry about nothing when you have money, basically. You know? So, and he said, like, you have, I say, like, you have that thing. You already have your family. So, take it. And you are in a good position, and she's in good position. She's not bad. She's not like, and you're not bad. She's not like, a, oh, my God, she she has three kids in two different guys. She is, she is, she has her first kid with you and she's young she's studying you're studying and she doesn't have any baggage neither you so and you you have each other so you can make it and also everybody want to help a guy a family guy everybody want to help a family guy even single people why because that's they what they want to become and also Many people, why? Because they see themselves when they start struggling, you know, when they was at the beginning, everybody struggles, it's not like a, everybody married millionaire. Sometimes we don't have nothing and we get married. So um, we see the past and we say, oh my God, I remember those days, and they try to help this guy. And also, there is a book that they call The Instant Millionaire, and The Instant Millionaire, it say, Put yourself in a position that do or die, sink or swim. So, and you are in that position right now, and, and your brain work at full capacity when you are in that position. And I remember clearly that somehow all people that die. They, are, they make it, they make it because they're family. Sometimes when you don't have that pressure in your life, you just go out and you don't, you don't worry about your future. 
you know, like I am single, I don't have nothing to do, I don't have nothing to work, why I will wake up, why I will work, go to work, why I will study, why I will do this, why? But when you have a family, you have that pressure, all that, that you want to be that good example for your kids. You, you want to keep your kid healthy, provide for him, you know, love him, and your wife, of course. And that's sometimes you don't realize you know, the bliss, blessed that you are until they pass. And he started changing, you know, his, his, his perspective. And he was still saying, like, uh, don't worry. Sometimes, like, uh, at that post moment, I used to be at your age. I remember that I used to be at your age. I really, really hoped to have somebody to tell me that I was like a begging somebody come and hug me and tell me, hey, don't worry, don't worry, everything will be alright, don't worry, you will see, you will see clearly when you start start walking, walking, walking slowly, you see it and you see it, and everything goes behind, and you just laugh. At that moment, sometimes you can see it, you know, because it's too dark, you are just seeing the problem. And uh, he started changing his face, and he started like a smiling. He said like, "Oh my God, thank you, man!" And he hugged me, and he said like, "I'm so like you should open your YouTube videos and give all those advices and all those, you know." And maybe that's why because I'm I'm here. 